I really enjoy having an, an overview when I'm, when I'm starting something to be able to kind of see the, the big picture. And so we have developed five main principles for an empowered birth that we are going to weave into the entire course. So these five principles you will will pretty much get a bite of in each and every video we do. And so the first one is honing your intuition, really discovering your, your natural instincts. And this will allow you to get to know yourself, your baby, your inner wisdom so much better. And so this, this intuition, it's already inside of you. It's not like we're gonna help you attract an intuition into yourself. You already have it. It's already strong. It's already amazing, but, but maybe you just haven't figured out how to access it. So that's what we're going to help you do. Peel back some layers, allow that intuition to come up and then figure out how to, to actually trust it and, and follow its guidance. The next principle is body knowledge. And this doesn't just have to do with how your body works, but, but how your body also interacts with, with your baby, with your spirit, with, with your mind, with the world around you. Um, so a few examples of how we'll teach you about body knowledge is, is how your uterus works. That sounds like such a, um, a complex thing to a lot of women. They think, oh my gosh, for my baby to come out of me, like all this stuff needs to happen. But really it's a very simple, gradual, graceful process in so many ways. So we'll teach you about that. We'll teach you about how endorphins work with your birth, how you can actually start training your endorphins to release during your pregnancy. Taryn gets into the, the energy within your body and how to work with that. So we, we go through a lot, of, a lot of different layers of body knowledge. And then the next one is figuring out how to advocate for yourself in regards to what information you allow in, what information you seek out, and what information you deflect in regards to like horrific birth stories that you don't wanna hear. We'll help you figure out how to not hear those, um, how to figure out like what you need assurance about. For me, I had a lot of, and I still do actually, the fears about, um, right after my baby comes out of the womb. And so for my next child, when I'm pregnant again, um, I'm gonna seek assurance out about that phase of birth. And I'm gonna ask questions because that's something that I feel like I need. Um, so we'll really help you figure out what is going to make you feel safer on this journey into motherhood. And, and not just what you need assurance about, but what is gonna make you really excited about birth? What's going to make you stoked about this process? And, and now Taryn is going to share the last two principles for an empowered birth. <laughs> the next principle is ritual. Um, and ritual, the way that we're gonna teach it, is really gonna center around experimenting and finding the things within your life that really serve you and really feed you on a deep level. So we're gonna look at like, does walking help you? Walking meditation, sitting meditation, lighting a candle, doing some, having some time of introspection, um, really looking at what serves you as a whole being so that not only do you have a way of incorporating this into your daily life, even if you have other little kids and it's a busy life, ways to really make sure you're getting this into your life, but also ways to then access this ritual that brings you back into yourself in difficult moments or intense moments that you need it, whether that's just in your daily life as a parent or that's during labor. These rituals help to build something up for you that you can then access when you need it, and it's a way of pulling yourself back into yourself. So we're really going to look at ritual from that standpoint. Um, the next one is community. And this one is one of the ones that's most important to me. I really feel like we need to do this from the standpoint of a village. Um, we're meant to do this with support, but the kind of support that we have really matters. We really want to have like-minded support. We really want to have support around us with people that see who we are and honor who we are and believe in us and are there to help us and are there to support us through the more difficult times or the more challenging times. We really want to make sure that we have the right 
child uh, care team for after we have our baby. We want to make sure we have the right care providers that are going to be there during our birth, um, the right doula if we're going to have a doula, everything set up for us to support us in the most uh, beneficial way. So we're going to take a look at how we can structure that and also how we can really honor the stuff in our life, in our support system that isn't working and how we can work through that and maybe make adjustments that are needed. Yep. And so those are five principles that we feel are really important, but a really exciting aspect of this course is that you'll likely come up with additional principles that are important to you because you are so wise. And and I encourage you to write those down. If you come up with a new one that you feel is really important, write that down and honor it. It doesn't have to be something that that we give you. It can be something that you come up with and, and share it with us. Send us an email and let us know what a new principle is and we might incorporate it in our, in our next course. So we're really excited to start supporting you in infusing those principles into not just your pregnancy and childbirth, but, but your life as a mother and as a woman after you, you move through childbirth. Yeah, because we want to reiterate that we are approaching this as a path of self-discovery for you. So as we are teaching the principles to you, we want you to notice what's coming up for you and we want you to trust your inner wisdom because you do know what's important for you and you do know what you need. And we're here if you want to email us about that because we honor your inner wisdom. We honor that this is a path of growth for you and a path of transformation for you. So definitely as stuff comes up, trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you.